Hello everybody, my name is Achara, and this is Eco Global Survival. Another day on my multiplayer server. Day 16. Ooh, we're getting there. We're getting in deep now. Um, so the plan for today is I'm going to continue to upgrade my house to better materials. I've got to get rid of all this lumber. I'm going to, of course, build some roads, do some infrastructure that way. I think I might get started on a government power grid. Um, hopefully we can do that today. If not, we'll do it soon. Obviously, we're going to check out some cool stuff other people did. Um, but first, I got to kind of address the elephant in the room. This is what I decided to do for my build. It's a uh, clad wall, then two windows, then clad wall, right? Composite, and then ash layer, then composite again. Well, let's just go to the government building for a minute here. And uh, <laughs> take a look. Now, I did not build this government store. Uh, I had Ro build it for me because he's a much more creative builder than I am. Oh, and hey, look, clad wall, window, window, clad wall. So I kind of stole the idea from him, I guess, apparently. So maybe I'll try to come up with something different, something a little more unique. Um, but for now, I'm going to just get my place switched over to this. I'll see how it looks. I'll see, see if I like it, right? And I should state this video, by the time you watch it, um, might be a couple days before I get this video out. Um, it's Sunday morning as I record right now. Um, it's my father's birthday. I'm going to be spending most of the afternoon with him. Then we're going to be watching the Super Bowl with friends tonight. So it might take me a bit before I get this video out. But I just want to show off um, Awesome Matt's so, uh, showroom here. So this is all the different types of ash layer. You got granite, shale, nice, limestone sandstone and basalt yes shale and basalt look pretty similar well no that's not true they don't they really don't know that i really look at it <laughs> so that, and then also if you want to take a peek you got all this different furniture tables benches fireplaces fountains of all the different types doors this is quite a comprehensive showroom I mean, I'm just trying to think of how much money <laughs> in products is just sitting in the cell room. Because, I mean, like, you can see this stuff. It, you need gold to make this stuff, plus the ash layer, right? So this cannot be cheap. But everything looks good, Matt. So if you want ash layer, come see Matt. Um, I don't know if anybody else is really making ash layer. Do we have any other advanced masons? Oh, yeah, no, we do. We definitely do. Dr. Old Cola, Hood, and Wylel. Well, Wylel, I think, is gone inactive. I think Lost Ark has stolen Wylel from us. We actually lost a few people to Lost Ark. <laughs> and if you want composites, go see Goody. Or not Goody, sorry. Go see Axel. Sorry, Axel. Um, he has a similar little showroom. Not quite as extensive, but you can see what the different composites do. Um, I believe Lazy Sammy also sells composites, but he hasn't been on in a couple days, so I'm not sure what's going on there. We still have, I think, 30 people showing up inactive, though. As active, not inactive. So we still got lots of people here. So if you want to come check out the server, um, all the information you need is in a pinned message on my Discord. Link's in the description down below to my Discord. If you want to come join us, check us out. Get a feel for the server. How's the park coming? I don't think the park has changed. You know what I need to do? I need to add a law that pays people to cut down this grass within this district. The old park grass cutting law. I should probably add that today. But I got a lot on my plate today as it is. I'm going to try to get as much done today before real life comes at me. If not, I'll get it done tomorrow on day 17. Anyway, I am going to get to it. I will be back. All right, so I added a new law to pay whenever people essentially mow the grass in the park. So just to go over the law here, triggers on a harvester hunt with these eight tools, which is basically all the sickles, machetes, scythe, right? Um, and it needs to be in the park district. But if it is, then the government pays from the treasury loonies any amount of 0.1. So you get a dime every time you mow the lawn. You know what? Let's make a point too. You get you get twenty cents. You get two dimes every time you mow the grass. So add changes to the election. Yes. 
Okay, and then I'm just going to force this through because I am the supreme leader. And nobody has any say in anything. Except, you know, I'm only doing this because it was somebody's suggestion. But, you know, let's go with the whole supreme leader thing. I also made a change in a particular road district. So let's take a look at the road districts here. So the road district I had planned here to head out to this island, it was originally like right here. But if you look carefully, there's a ramp there. So that's not going to work, right? So now it's going to be here instead. So it'll work. So it comes over and it just came here and stopped before. Now it's going to come up, come over to where Destiny's Ends property is here. Then there's a couple of properties out here. People have claims because there's oil here. Um, it's Kitty and somebody else, Kitty and Dean have claims out there. So that'll take them here. And then the road comes up here and joins up with the bridge down to, uh, down to Bori's place. Although Bori stopped playing today, but he did gift his claim to, uh, to Leary. So I don't, I know if she's going to live here. Probably not. Hopefully Tintin comes on so at least somebody can make use of this bridge that we made. Although I guess as long as we make this part of the bridge, then it'll be relevant, right? Oh, and it looks like this bridge is, um, this road's had some progress made as well. Cool, cool. The old coastal road. So yeah, so that's update on government happenings for today. Um, also a few people, I don't know, I doubt they're watching if they stop playing, but cloud i unclaimed clouds property um both the store and here um lost Bach, your cup your property got unclaimed so but i mean cloud said he was done playing lost Bach hadn't been on in a while and people requested um, me to unclaim those because they wanted to to use them so i did i apologize if they come back and their stuff's gone but it happens all right anyway I'm going to go work on my house. I'll be back. All right. So it is now day 17. As I predicted, I did not get on much yesterday because of my father's birthday and the Super Bowl. I apologize for not getting a video out, video out on Monday morning as per usual. But uh, we'll be back hopefully daily from now on. So let's update what happened while I was gone. The park is finished. Kitty finished the park. Um, obviously, it would look a lot better if somebody would mow the grass. You do get paid if you come in and cut down this grass. Just throwing that out there. Grab a machete. Come in. Cut all this down. You get paid. If you're looking for some quick, easy money, anybody can do it. Um, I'd do it right now if I had a machete on me, but I don't. <laughs> so I'll have to get myself a machete, and I can come up. And if nobody else wants to be the groundskeeper of the park, I will do it. It is fine. I live pretty close to the park. So, like I said, the park is done. These signs will all have um, donors' names on them. They don't just yet. Um, but they will. Because a lot of people donated. And I want to thank everybody who donated. I want to thank Kitty for building the park. Um, I want to thank Matt who made, I believe, most if not all of the Ashlar stuff for the park. Um, particular shout out to uh, Vendrix Blade and Manny, Manila Brava, who had really big donations. Um, and we have so much money left over after building this park, we decided to expand the park. Right, so this square is what the park originally was. Now the park also is all this. Now this part of the park isn't done. Um, it was started, obviously. Looks like people flattened out some ground. Looks like we got trees planted in specific spots here, right? You can see that there were planted trees. Um, this looks like a gravel path being done. You got some steps going down here, some limestone walls down here. So yeah, so this is a work in progress, obviously, but, uh, should be good if it's anything like the other park. But we do need a groundskeeper. But like I said, you do get paid for cutting down that grass. So feel free to get on that. So while I'm over this way, I just want to take a little trip. Let's throw a fly on here. Let's follow the road. So we showed off Matt's showroom here already. Punchdowns make some changes. Uh, he's got his shops over here. His workshop here. Got a nice little, oh, work in progress. He still needs some glass, <laughs> but that'll look real nice when that's done. But the real reason I want to come down this way, so multiple times I've been talking about tunnels and I'm like, well, you know, it's, it's functionally done, but I want to make it look better down the road. 
And if you're wondering what I mean by that, this is what I mean by that. So this is Tuffle's work. So heads up, uh, or thanks to Tuffle for doing this. So this is what I'm talking about when I say I want to make the tunnels look better. Like, look how much better this looks than like, I think he's working on this tunnel now, but this is what most tunnels look like, right? You got rock and dirt and whatever else. See, there's Tuffle working on the tunnel, widening it in his skid steer. That's right. We got skid steers now. Hey, Tuffle. I can't jump. I'm in fly mode. Here, I'll simulate jumping. <laughs> yeah, no, this tunnel looks great. So my hope is to have all the tunnels look similar to this. Like this one's sandstone, obviously. You know, the other ones won't necessarily all be sandstone. But this is kind of what I'm talking about when I say I want the tunnels to look good. Right? At any rate, that's where we're at. I'm going to work on uh, my house some. See if we can get that um, switched over to more Tier 4 materials. I'm going to build some roads. I think I'm going to start working on the um the stop out to the island here right either this road do i want to do this road or do i want to do this road oh tintin's on good so that's um somebody can take advantage of this bridge i made right um i don't know i'll decide which one i want to do i'll work on it like i said gonna work on the house wait is my truck at home i think it is at any rate i'll be back with an update soon Okay, house update time. So I finished putting in the granite roof. I just left the windmills where they are for now. Maybe I'll move them down there, down way down there eventually. For now, they're fine where they're. It'll it's okay. So with that done, that means all this roof can come out. <laughs> so I'm gonna start pulling that up. But before I do that, I want to apologize to anybody that um, sold me a basic upgrade three. Um, with the intention of getting a basic upgrade 4 out of it. My automatic thing stopped working. So I, I have two basic upgrade 4s for sale now. So if you if you need one, if you're one of the people who sold me the basic upgrade 3, um, you can come get your basic upgrade 4 now. So what happened was I ran out of uh, plant fibers. Actually, I'm out of plant fibers again right now. <laughs> so I'm going to have to fix that. So it's 57 plant fibers to do that upgrade. So chances are... Let's, let's let me get some more wheels just to make sure this is accurate. Um, chances are if you come and you sell me a basic upgrade 3 and it doesn't get turned into a 4, it's probably because I'm out of plant fibers. So, yeah, sell me plant fibers. And, and I'll go harvest some, you know. I'm willing to harvest some, but <laughs> I don't want to spend all day harvesting plant fibers, right? I'd much rather spend all day pulling lumber out of my ceiling. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to have to, well, I'm going to have to turn some of it into walls, aren't I? As well. I'm too hungry to work. I better eat. I'm craving fantastic forest pizza. There's none for sale. I believe, uh, big reason why it's hard to get is because it's, um, it's somebody's favorite food. Awesome. Matt, I think it said it's his favorite food. So that means it's always going to be in high demand, right? If a if a high end food is somebody's favorite food, yeah, it's going to be hard to keep in stock, especially something like that. Because I, I don't think that's easy to make. That that this pizza. Let's look at it. Let's look at the recipe. Let's look at the recipe. Leaving doughs, hearts of hearts of palm. That's what it was. I believe uh, Destiny said that it was tough to keep that in stock because hearts of palm are not that common. Is anybody selling hearts of palm? Nope. So if you're like a gatherer and um, you're looking for something that's in demand, Heart of Palm. I believe you got to cut down palm trees to get that, though. So I guess that'd be more of a logger thing than a gatherer thing, right? I would say. So I guess, am I going to convert, I guess I'm going to convert all these interior walls over to composite lumber as well. So, yeah, so I, I still have a lot of work to do in the house and the floor. Obviously, we'll need to get converted as well. That's going to be the big job. The floor is hard, right? Because you got to try to work underneath all your furniture and crap. It's not my favorite thing to do. Sa oh, Sammy's taking a break. <laughs> Does he have any composite fur? No. All right, so I'll probably have to go to Axel for that. Yeah, Axel's got Axel's got 111. So I'll go. I'll go visit Axel. 
pick those up later. Did anybody else take composites, or is it still just the the two? I know people were talking about it. Yes, Leah Romero took it. I don't know if she has any for sale, though. She's only level three. She probably hasn't made a whole lot yet. She might be using it for herself. Hey, Sammy knows what I'm doing. Yes, they do know yet. Yes, I do. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm going to continue to work on the house, get as much done as I can. I'm going to build some roads. I started building this road down towards the oil fields and the island. Um, and we'll take a peek, see what everybody else is up to. And maybe, maybe we'll start on a uh, government power grid. Although that that might be next episode. We'll see. I guess I can get rid of these too, right? Anyway, I'll be back with an update soon. All right, so I got all the ceiling ripped out. Um, so that's all done. I got some other updates like this wall wasn't done before. We didn't have the granite in the corner. We didn't have the granite here. We got clad wall along the top edge because it was just normal um, lumber block now. Got the composite clad wall. So basically, the exterior, the roof is done. The exterior walls are done. I'm, well, I might do something with glass. Like, I don't think I, it doesn't need to be all glass now that I have the balcony, right? But I think I'll leave it, right? Some interior walls still need to be done, obviously. And the floor still needs to be done. I need to make a decision on the interior walls. I don't think I want to do the clad wall, right? Because we got that on the outside. So let's, uh, let's tear down a wall here. And then we'll, uh, we'll experiment. We'll throw up, um, I'm pretty sure I want to do composite walls. Plus, I have a lot more composite right now available to me than, than Ashlar. So it makes sense to do it <laughs> for that reason as well. Although I am going to need a lot of composite for the floor. That's assuming I do composite floor. I guess I could switch to granite. Although, Sammy is making me composite. Yeah, no, I'll do, I'll do composite floor. All right, so we got normal wall. Which looks like... Which looks like <laughs> that. I mean, it's not... It's boring, but... I mean, it's an interior wall. It doesn't need to be sexy, right? But what are our other options? We got the clad wall, but we decided we didn't want to do that. What is this wall trim? Okay, so it's the same, except it's horizontal instead of vertical. Right? <laughs> Okay, um, is there any other options? We could do windows, probably not. Fence, side fence. Um, full wall? What's a full wall? Oh yeah, that's this. Uh, and pretty sure we don't want to do that. I think... Vertical wall, horizontal wall. You know what? I'm just going to do this for now. Let me know in the comments. Horizontal wall or vertical wall? Let me know. I think that's enough uh, working on the house for me for today. So I'm going to go uh, work on some roads or something else. And I'll be back. All right. I have a new project. Uh, Tipples Tunnel inspired me. I want to make a tunnel out of this. So I already started, I started clearing out here, right? Started clearing out the roof a little bit, just kind of making space for some mortared stone, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use blocks for sure. And where do we wanna start it? Well, we can't start it here. This is somebody else's property. I mean, it's gonna start like here on this side, right? So we'll start it like here maybe. Now, obviously we're gonna use some pillars and stuff kind of like Tuple did in his tunnel. And actually I have, a, I have a different idea for a look too that uh, we'll save that as a surprise. I'm not going to show that off now, but we will use pillars like Tuple did. But for now I'm just going to get um, mortared stone blocks in everywhere. And then after we get all those in, we can come back later and make it pretty, right? I just want to get the, uh, the basic in for now, but it is going to be a fair amount of work. We do have a lot of stuff we need to clear out, um, especially the ceiling. Like, it didn't take me long to clear out this side wall. And this wall, you know, I mean, there's already part of it gone here, right? 
and a part of it gone there. So it shouldn't be too bad, although there is a lot of basalt over there, and that takes a little longer to clear out, right? Yeah, so it shouldn't be too bad clearing all this out, replacing it with mortar stone. Um, you know, I'll just buy the mortar stone from the government if I have to, but I, I do think there are people that have mortar stone for sale um, for cheap. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I can I can afford some mortar stone. I still have a lot of money in the bank. I think. I think I do. Oh, yeah, 6000 lots the government still has lots of money in the bank a million the park funding uh, account has almost ten thousand loonies in it so again thanks to everybody for their donations we uh we definitely have the money to make some parks so i'm going to pick away at this um i don't know if i'm going to get this done tonight i'm not sure how much longer i'm going to be playing for tonight but uh yeah i'm going to pick away at this pick away at some roads um actually i can just show that in a mini map I've been working on this south road. Get all the way down here, right? Which is, it's a lot of road. Because, I mean, this is where it's going, right? This is the, those are the, these are the properties that are down here. These are people's oil fields. And the road comes down right between them. Boom, boom, right? And then cuts over, comes down, and meets up with this major road. Although this major road needs a lot of work. This whole, the whole east-west road is good from like here to here the north south road isn't really good at any point <laughs> i mean there's stretches like right here it's good but basically the, the 15 wide roads need a lot of work everywhere except this stretch right here by the government right which makes sense anyway that's what i've been up to that's what i'm going to be up to for the next little bit i'll be back with uh, at least one more update soon before I give an update on the tunnel, I would once again like to ask for feedback on which ball pattern I should go with. Up, horizontal stripes, or the bottom here with the vertical stripes. So let me know what you think. And let's go, actually, let's not go to the tunnel just yet. We'll go to the tunnel here in a sec. I just want to give an update on Destiny. He's got his third floor done. Um, but what I really want to show off is the floor of his main floor here. I love this checkerboard pattern. I think it's just Ashlar Limestone and Ashlar Basalt. Yeah, oh, that looks good, though. I'm kind of jealous. Now I kind of want that for my floor, <laughs> right? Like, man, I don't know. That looks good. That looks real good. I think I'm kind of committed to doing uh, the, the fur, the composite fur, though, for my floor. All right, well, you can kind of see from back here how the tunnel's coming. Um, obviously it's going to need to be spruced up. Well, it's all, it's also not done. The walls are done. The top is not done though. I still need to dig out all this, right? Which is, which is a lot. And there's some, you know, some base all mixed in. And I believe I'm going to have to cut down, um, well, this tree for sure, this birch and possibly this one as well, because the roots are interfering. I can't pull this dirt out. Right. So yeah we'll do that we'll finish that up tomorrow because i think that is going to be it for me for today i feel like we get a lot done well we get a lot done this video but that's because it was over the course of two days right <laughs> but we yeah we're going to work on this bridge tomorrow we're going to uh we're going to work on our walls we're going to work on our floor i may work on my area out back too I may um, I may move the windmills down, put them on the beach somewhere. I may dig out some of this dirt, get this stuff down, like on this on this level. I may do that. I may build a workshop down here. I don't know because I might eventually take some skills. I have three skill points available, although I can only actually spend two of them because there's a law preventing you from having more than four skills right now. But still, that's <laughs> that's two skills I could take, and I will change that law. Um, I, I know Destiny's End has his fifth star as well. I don't know if anybody else does yet. I'm sure some people must be close. And I know Destiny wants to take advanced cooking, right? So I will, said I would, I would do the fifth star eventually, and I will. And I mean, I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to let him, or I'm not, I'm not going to make Destiny wait a week. It'll likely be in the next few days, but I'd like to wait till a couple more people have their fifth star first, right? is the plan 
But yeah, that's going to be all for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, join my Discord if you want to check out the uh, server. The information is there. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Even $5 a month helps a lot. The server uh, isn't free. I do need to pay for it, right? So consider that if you have some uh, some spare money. But most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.